Hello everyone. Let's look at a problem, a sequencing or a prioritization problem using Johnson's rule. Now in any production setup, you may you'll have n number of jobs or tasks that have to be processed or have to be manufactured or have to be assembled that has to pass through different machines. Now how do you load these jobs or these tasks to those different machines in such a way that the total time, take to, time taken to complete these jobs is being kept at the minimum as well as minimizing the idle time involved. Now idle time is a problem in any production setup. So you would want to minimize that. And also you would want to find out, you know, how, you know, the, the minimum time it'll take for you or for the production process to complete a processing or manufacturing or assembling n number of jobs. Now, let's look at this problem. Now, this problem has been taken from the book Production and Operations Management by S. N. Chari. We are going to prioritize or sequence the jobs using Johnson's rule. Maiden Charm Limited Beauty Products Baby Blue, Virgin White, Shy Pink, Daring Purple and Sensuous Black go through two operations, preparation and finishing at the respective two places and in that order. The operation times at these work centers are given below. Now the operation times are in hours. So you have preparation. These these are the two uh, work centers. You can even call them uh, two machines. Preparation and finishing. Now you have these different tasks or these different jobs have, that have to pass through these two machines. Now how do you prioritize them? How do you sequence them? Okay. How should the above items be sequenced so that the total completion time is minimized? Now let us apply Johnson's rule for optimal sequencing now according to johnson's rule okay the you know the way you prioritize or sequence the job that means which job will go first which job will go second third fourth and fifth and and you know which one is the last one will all depend on on uh, this rule so according to johnson's rule okay any job that takes the least time okay any job that takes the least amount of time in m1 let's call this machine one and machine two any job that takes the least amount of time in machine one that should be sequenced first all right it should be sequenced first it should come first and any job that takes the least amount of time in machine two that job will be sequenced last okay always remember any job that takes the least amount of time in machine one that will be sequenced first and any job that takes the least amount of time in machine two that job will be sequenced last now so look at look at this problem you find out which job takes the least amount of time and in what machine in m1 or m2 let's just call this right here m1 and M2. Okay, find out which job takes the least amount of time. Yes, baby blue. All right, this takes least amount of time in which machine? In machine one, one R. So you sequence baby blue as first. So we are done with baby blue. All right, so ignore baby blue. Next, from virgin white, shy pink, daring purple, sensuous black, which job takes the least amount of time and in which machine? Yes, you find daring purple takes two hours in machine one, but also virgin white takes the least amount of time in machine two. Now, what is the, what is the rule that if any job takes the least amount of time in machine M, in, in machine two, you sequence that as the last job so here virgin white okay since it takes the least amount of time in machine two it'll be sequenced as last okay virgin 
white. Okay, so you have baby blue first, virgin white as last. Alright, so we are done with virgin white. Now, you have daring purple. Daring purple takes the least amount of time. Okay, after baby blue, it, this takes the least amount of time where? In M1. So you sequence that as first. Now, since the first place has been taken by... Uh, since the first place belongs to baby blue you place that as second okay daring purple d p virgin white so there we are done okay so we are done with the daring purple virgin white and baby blue now we are left with shy pink and sensuous black now between shy pink and sensuous black which one takes the least amount of time Yes, sensuous black takes the least amount of time where? In M1, in machine M1. So you place that where? You place that first or last? You place that first. Now, since the first place has been taken over by baby blue, second place has been taken over by daring purple. So, sensuous black will be placed when? Third. Alright. So, sensuous black will be placed third. Alright, so if we are already uh, done with the four jobs. So, so finally, we are left with what? We are left with Shy Pink. So Shy Pink will be placed as number four. So Baby Blue, Daring Purple, Sensuous Black, uh, Shy Pink SP, and Virgin White. Okay, so there, there we have we have already sequenced the jobs or we have prioritized the jobs using Johnson's rule. Alright. Now, we have to find out what is the uh, total completion time okay, of these jobs in machine 1 and machine 2. Let's just call preparation as M1, machine 1 and finishing as M2. Okay, so which job will come first? Yes, baby blue. Now, baby blue in M1, okay, it'll come in at zero hour. And how much time does it take? Baby blue, does it take in M1? It takes one hour. So therefore, okay, this is one hour. And it'll complete by one hour after one hour okay now once it is done in m1 it has to come down to m2 so after one hour it'll come down to m2 baby blue and how much time does it take in in m2 it takes three hours so three hours so one plus three is equal to four right now while baby blue is being processed in M2, Daring Purple will be processed in M1. Okay? Daring Purple will be processed in M1. Now, how much time does Daring Purple take in M1? Two. Two hours. Okay? So, two hours. So, one plus two is equal to three. Okay, three hours. Now, so therefore, Daring Purple will come down to M2. From M1, it will come to M2 after three hours, right? Now, it's supposed to be that way. But then, you see what happens is, as Daring Purple is being processed in M1, Baby Blue is being processed in M2. And Baby Blue will only be done by the fourth hour because one plus three is equal to four. So therefore, there will be a waiting time here in M1, okay, by one hour. All right. So, Daring Purple has to wait for one hour in M1 before it could come down to M2. So, our, so after four hours, Daring Purple will come down. And how much time does Daring Purple take in M2? It takes five hours. 
5 hours. So 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Now as daring purple is being processed in M2, simultaneously sensuous black will be processed in M1. All right. How much time does sensuous black takes in M1? 3 hours. All right. So by the fourth hour, so 3 plus 1, remember, waiting time, idle time. All right. So that would be 4. 4 plus 3. All right. That will be 7. So after 7 hours, sensuous black will come down to M2 from M1. However, however, Daring purple is being processed in uh, M2 and daring purple will only be done by what? By the ninth hour. It will be done by the ninth hour. So again, there will be idle time in M1. How many hours? Okay, two hours. It's 9 minus 7 will be two hours. All right. So once sensuous black is done in M1, it will come down to M2, sensuous black. And how much time does it take in M2? It takes 7 hours. All right. It takes 7 hours. So 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. So what that means, sensuous black will be done by the 16th hour in M2. Now as sensuous black is being uh, processed in M2, Shy pink will be processed in M1. And how much time does shy pink takes in M1? 5 hours. So 9 plus 5 is equal to how much? Is equal to 14. Again, there will be some idle time because sensuous black will only be done by what? By the 16th hour. 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. So 9 plus 7 is equal to 16. 16, there will be an idle time of 2 hours. Okay. Then once shy pink is done with M1, it will come down to M2. Shy pink. And how much time does it take in M2? Shy pink takes 4 hours in M2. So 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. And as shy pink is being processed in M2, which job will be processed in M1? Obviously, the last job, virgin white. And how much time does virgin white takes? In M1, it takes about 4 hours. So, 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. Now, again, here also, 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. So, there is no waiting time here. Okay, so as soon as shy pink is done by the 20th hour, Virgin white will also come down to M2 after 20 hours. So there's no more by the 20th hour. So there's no more waiting time or idle time there. And virgin white takes how much time? In uh, M2, it takes about 2 hours. So 2. So that means the total completion time is 22 hours. So total completion time is equal to 22 hours and total idle time is equal to how much let's count this 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 hours so the total idle time is five hours now this is how you sequence or you prioritize jobs in the different work centers using johnson's rule and this is how you find out the total completion time i will do another problem uh, on the johnson's rule a similar problem where n number of jobs passing through two machines or two work centers 
stay tuned